Nairobi is a center for business and commerce that led to massive migration of people into the city from around Kenya. The infrastructure, so for example the roads, you can't even get rubbish trucks in. There's about four million people in Nairobi and almost half of Nairobi lives in informal settlements. It became the mouth of um, mountains and mountains of trash. Now that's what took the time, was to figure out how to utilize the rubbish so that it was of use. Jim Archer came up with the idea of the community cooker. We had to build, test it, take it to bits, rebuild it, test it again, rebuild it. The Princess Foundation were really interested in this project because it builds on community engagement and participatory design. The community cooker uses rubbish as a source of fuel for generating heat to cook. The cooker is a very, very simple design. It's very easy to build. It's very easy to maintain. There's never going to be an issue with not having enough rubbish. Rubbish is collected from an area. It's fed into the cooker, which is then lit. The rubbish is burned at above 800 degrees centigrade. And at this point, you're able to eliminate all the toxic gases. Another benefit that we see from the cooker is that rubbish is burnt responsibly at high temperatures. We can actually reach 800 degrees, which is the temperature stipulated by the World Health Organization as a minimum requirements to operate an incinerator. There were two problems that we saw that we as the Princess Foundation could improve upon. One was the design of the prototype and to work with them on community engagement to install four community cookers. A lot of the international players felt that the community cooker as a technology is fantastic because it addresses an issue where we're using rubbish to actually create fuel for cooking. Now the cooker is able to generate about 100 plates of food in an hour. The community has really been able to use it and see it for an income generating activity. I really believe that if we were to use cookers for institutions, it would really make a large difference. It's something that the Princess Foundation are excited about. Like there is transformation of life, from maybe poor to at least better life. The community cooker will pay for itself in the saving of the buying of the charcoal in less than two years. I feel happy, I feel happy. In fact, something which I have done with all my heart, with all my passion, I feel happy. It's really great to see a project that takes relatively little time and relatively little money to have a, quite a big immediate and long-term impact. The end result will be that the kids can have three hot meals a day and the hot water. The satisfaction there was huge. If it will succeed in the way I see, we need to construct the other one in this Kibra again, like two, three of them. So anywhere where you'd find at least a large density of people who are generating a lot of rubbish, there would always be a place for a community cooker. This project is a good fit for the Princess Foundation because it brings together a community engagement and addresses environmental challenges that you find in urban environments all over the world.